Hello everyone and welcome to my UK Royal Family News Channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In Marlena's office, Talia concedes she has heartfelt affections for Channel. Notwithstanding, she doesn't think she should be content with her after all that she did. Marlena says that sounds like Colin talking. Causing her to feel undeserving is the means by which he kept his control over her. In any case, presently she's taken her power back and is dealing with her psychological wellness. Talia believes it's likely not a smart thought to bounce into a relationship at this moment. Marlena says perhaps not, but at the same time it's anything but smart to curb her sentiments. She encourages her not to have any second thoughts. Trip calls Wendy from the clinic to welcome her for a retry at the Salem Hotel. This time without any breaks from inebriated tattle editorialists or siblings getting back home from terrible dates. After a raging Paulina stomps off to deal with Rawlings, Johnny appears in the square. Channel makes sense of what occurred with the acting city chairman. As Johnny makes sense of he was in New Zealand shadowing Will on his film set. He gets diverted by Wendy entering the Salem Hotel with her bag. He snaps back to Channel as he educates her concerning Ari and Henry. At the point when Channel gets some information about Ali, Johnny tells her they made up and makes reference to she seeing somebody. In any case, he's a complete device with zero character. Besides, he's terrible. Channel chuckles, knowing that is clearly false. Johnny concedes he's cool, and Ali appears to be content with him. In any case, he doesn't measure up to her. No one does. Ali was nuts to surrender her. Channel could say the equivalent regarding Wendy and inquires as to whether she gave him a clarification for finishing things. He recalls Wendy letting him know he actually cares deeply about Channel. He begins to tell her what Wendy said as Talia strolls up. Johnny holds Channel's hands, encouraging her to hold tight. He's there to help assuming that she really wants it. Talia watches Chanel watching Johnny leave. As Chanel fills Talia in about the bread kitchen, Chanel notes Talia appears to be anxious. Talia calmly inhales and says Chanel doesn't need to answer, yet she cares deeply about her. Assuming that she responds, might she at any point tell her? In any case, provided that she needs to. A jumpy Talia surges away, leaving Chanel befuddled. Wendy goes into a Salem hotel space to track down candlelight, champagne, and a don't upset sign on the entryway. At the point when Tripp presents room administration, he finds it's not what he requested. He needs to fix it, yet Wendy proposes they simply avoid ahead with their night. He moves right up front. We can do that, he says. Notwithstanding, he can't let the chocolate fondue he requested go to squander. She plunges a strawberry and says it's awesome, and he is her little glimpse of heaven. He rehashes the opinion. As Kayla keeps on quizzing aid with her photograph cheat sheets at home, Paulina comes by. She pushes past a defensive Kayla to inquire as to whether can be a decent city hall leader. She updates him on Rawlings pursuing Channel's business. A business channel just began fully supported by Abe's drive. She asks them to help her little girl before it's past the point of no return. As Kayla and Polina quarrel about the last option pushing aid excessively hard, he hinders to pronounce he'll make it happen. Being city chairman will provide him motivation, and it could assist with his recuperation. He guarantees a concerned Kayla he'll return right on the off chance that it's a lot of too early. He needs to basically attempt to help his stepdaughter. Paulina eagerly embraces Abe as Kayla watches with anxiety. In Bayview, Ava apologizes to Harris, guaranteeing him she's feeling improved. She makes sense of about Charlie and her maniacal break that handled her there. She was feeling far improved, however, and thought her dreams of her dead child were no more. Along these lines, she attempted to wean herself off her medications. However, she won't commit that error once more. Her psychologist thinks her mind flights are because of her feeling of remorse. At the point when he requests subtleties, she recaps how her failure to mother Trip drove her to be a horrible mother to Charlie. She destroys over the lives she's taken, expecting he doesn't have any idea how it feels. According to Tragically, he, he does. 
Harris fills her in, unfit to comprehend the reason why he's so powerless against mind control. That is the reason he requested to be committed. He generally considered himself strong. Ava calls attention to nobody is. Harris asks how long it's been since she conversed with Trip. She says it's been months since she went after him the last opportunity he came. She fears snapping on him once more. He urges her to connect. As Wendy rubs Trip's exposed chest at the Salem Motel, she recommends they quit any pretense of attempting to make everything awesome. It's a lot of strain. She simply needs to be at the time. He concurs and kisses her shoulder. They're interfered with by a call from Bayview, telling Trip he can visit his mom. Wendy urges him to go at this point. She'll be there when he gets back. At Bayview, Ava says thanks to Harris for empowering her to contact her child. After he leaves for a meeting, Trip appears. Mother and child firmly embrace one another. At the point when Johnny comes to Marlena's office, she hops up to embrace him. Subsequent to making up for lost time, he concedes he could in any case care deeply about Channel. She puts forth a valiant effort to keep a nonpartisan articulation. Now is the right time. Beginning one week from now with a brought down plane, days of our lives will start expressing farewell to Victor Kyriakis and his incredible portrayer, John Aniston. We know from spoilers that Victor's plane will be going down, and he unfortunately will not endure it. Significantly more sadly, it seems like it'll occur after Victor's visit to Bo. What's more, when the long-term top of the Kyriakis family is gone, you can wager that close by of the grieving and tears, there will be one amazing scramble for cash and power. Companions, family, ex-darlings and adversaries, there's no limit to the conceivable outcomes of people who could get back to express farewell to Victor. We know currently that John Paul Lavoisier is returning as Philip, yet it's absolutely impossible that that could be the only one of Victor's away family who might return to bid farewell and figure out what sort of legacy they're getting. Victor had children, grandchildren, and even great-grandchildren in spades. What's more, with Victor gone and done support Maggie, we have an inclination the vultures could begin circumnavigating to oust her and take Titan for themselves. Then, at that point, there are the exes. Maggie is Victor's fifth spouse and sixth marriage since he and Vivian married two times. Could they essentially return to grieve? That is questionable, since bitter a large portion of Victor's connections finished. However, it is basically impossible that we excuse days of our lives in the event that they didn't take a couple of them back to see him off. What's more, perhaps verify whether they'd some way or another stayed in the will. In the case of nothing else, we really want Louise Rones Vivian at Victor's burial service, decked out all in dark and causing quite a ruckus. Furthermore, we're willing to wager, with one amazing plot at her disposal. And afterward there's Bo. We've presumably having him awaken so before long wasn't in the arrangement. Yet nor was John Aniston's passing. He kicked the bucket soon after Peter Reckle wrapped up shooting his stuff back in the spring. So why not do a little revamping and have Bo awaken soon after his father passes on in the wake of visiting him? The awfulness of that would be a great deal more significant than if he got up a year after the fact to be informed Victor was no more. Bo wouldn't need to keep close by, obviously, however with Megan actually something else, he and Trust could return home to Salem. Then, at that point, pass on to find the one who made their lives hopeless, yet in addition sort of gave them back. Also, it would haul Sean out of his funk. For that by itself, we kill to have Bo back. However, one way or the other, regardless of whether it's simply Bo seeing Victor's soul expressing farewell in his unconsciousness, we really want to have something like one scene with Peter Reckel returning for such a disastrous event. At the end of the day, there's a great deal to mine here and ideally a large number of storylines that Victor's passing could start off. So we arranged an exhibition of everybody we'd very much want to see return to send Aniston and Victor off in style. Look at it, then sound off in the remarks who you might want to see return. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.